வெல்கம் டு சயின்ஸ் ஈஸி டெக் சேனல் நர்சிங் மேட் ஈஸி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் மீன் ஃபார் குரூப் டேட்டா பிஃபோர் மூவிங் ஆன் டு த டாபிக் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நியூ டு சயின்ஸ் ஈஸி டெக் சேனல் ஜஸ்ட் டேக் ஏ மூமெண்ட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ டு ப்ரெஸ் த நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் பெல் ஐகான் இன் ஆர்டர் டு கெட் கனெக்டட் வித் அவர் லேட்டஸ்ட் அப்டேட்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் சி வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் இன் திஸ் பார்ட் செவன் வீடியோ In this part 7 video, we are going to discuss about mean for group data, mean for discrete data and mean for continuous data. So under group data, you have two types that is discrete data and continuous data. Already I have posted a video how to calculate arithmetic mean for raw data in my part 6 video. If you have not watched it, I have given the link in the description box. Please go and watch it. Central tendency measure arithmetic mean. Mean is nothing but the average of the given values. It is denoted by what? It is denoted by X bar. Let us see mean for group data that is discrete series. So find the mean for the following data. Marks obtained number of students. Marks obtained 4. 4 marks 6 students. 8 marks 12 students. 12 marks 6. 18 students 16 marks 15 students and 20 marks 9 students let's see what is the formula for calculating mean of discrete data x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f or x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by n this sigma f that is summation of f is nothing but capital n let's substitute in the following sum so what you have to do you have to find out fx how you will be finding fx see the marks is x the number of students is f so marks and all you enter in x uh, column and number of students you enter in f column okay then what you have to do you have to multiply f and x okay f into x that is 4 into 6 is equal to 24 8 into 12 is equal to 96 12 into 18 is equal to 216 16 into 15 is equal to 240 20 into 9 is equal to 180 next what you have to do next you have to do summation of f so this summation of f is otherwise called as n the summation of f is also called capital n so add all the f values if you are adding all the f values it comes 60 so summation of f that is sigma f or n n capital n is equal to 60 then what you have to do you have to add all the fx values so that is called as sigma fx or summation of fx so if you have added all the fx values the value is 756 now you have to substitute in the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by n what is sigma fx s yes, it is 756 then what is n it is 60 so substitute in the formula x bar is equal to 756 divided by 60 which is equal to 12.6 so the arithmetic mean is 12.6 next we will calculate the arithmetic mean for the following data which is continuous data so here the marks is 0 to 10 number of students is uh, 5 then 10 to 20 10 students 20 to 30 marks 24 students 30 to 40 marks 15 students then 40 to 50 marks 6 students see here marks is your x then number of students is your f marks is your x then number of students is your f so here what you have to find out see marks in marks i told x but you cannot take directly because it is continuous data so here in marks what you have to do is you have to take the midpoint okay so your midpoint is your x so here 0 to 10 0 to 10 the midpoint is 5 10 to 20 the midpoint is 15 20 to 30 the midpoint is 25 30 to 40 the midpoint is 35 
40 to 50 the midpoint is 45 here it is very easy to calculate the midpoint so what is the formula for calculating the midpoint is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 upper limit here in the first thing is 10 10 plus 0 divided by 2 that is 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 20 plus 10 upper limit here in the second thing is 20 and lower limit is 10 20 plus 10 is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 so here in the third one 30 plus lower limit 20 divided by 2 that is 50 divided by 2 is 25 so in this way you have to find out for other two also that is 40 plus 30 divided by 2 that is 70 divided by 2 35 then 40 plus 50 divided by 2 that is 90 divided by 2 is 45 so in this way you have to find out the x values so don't directly put because it is continuous data you have to take the midpoint that is very very important so midpoint is your x value then your f value is 5 10 24, 15, 6 respectively. So what you have to do? Midpoint into F. That is F into X. 5 into 5 how much? 25. 15 into 10 how much? 150. 25 into 24 how much? 600. Then 35 into 15, 525. 45 into 6, 270. So what you have to keep in mind? Calculating mid value marks I have told as X value but this x value also what you have to take the mid value so for the first thing the mid value is 5 for the second thing the mid value is 15 for the third thing the mid value is 25 for the fourth thing the mid value is 35 and for the fifth thing the mid value is 45 so here next to what you have to do same what we have done in discrete series like that you have to add all the f values so that is called as sigma f or n if you are adding all the things that is called as sigma f or n which is equal to 60 then you have to add sigma fx that is summation of fx so fx values and all add it so that will be giving what that will be giving sigma fx which is equal to 1570 now what you have to do substitute in the formula as you have done previously for discrete data x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f or sigma fx divided by capital N okay sigma f is what already I told it is capital N so sigma fx how much I told sigma fx 1570 then what is capital N or sigma f it is 60 so substitute here so 1570 divided by 60 which is equal to 26.167 so it is rounded off to 26.17 so the arithmetic mean is 26.17 hope is clear for you all there is a question for viewers calculate the mean for the following discrete data that is height in centimeter and number of students 140 centimeter 5 students 145 centimeter 4 students 150 centimeter 7 students 155 centimeter 15 students 160 centimeter 6 students 165 centimeter 8 students Calculate the arithmetic mean for the following continuous data. Weight in kg, number of patients. 40 to 50 kgs, 8 patients. Then 50 to 60 kgs, 12 patients. 60 to 70 kgs, 5 patients. 70 to 80 kgs, 15 patients. 80 to 90 kg, 8 patients. And 90 to 100 kgs, 2 patients. So here, uh, in this, you have to take the mid value. Don't uh, forget. Uh, so you have to take the mid value that is uh, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95 like that. Take the mid value. The mid value is your x value. Okay. Then do the sum. Okay. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box if you have not watched it please go and watch it if you have any doubts with regard to arithmetic mean please feel free to post your doubts in comment session so that i can clarify it keep supporting to science easy tech channel thank you friends